Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Guys, how do you normally dress up to work out? Do you think about it, if it uh, makes an impact or not? Actually, it does make an impact. First, you need to know what your goal is of that workout. Is it cardio, weightlifting, a strength, a particular skill? For example, if you want to burn fat, you could put up some more clothes and um, to sweat more, but you will decrease in performance. Once you know what your goal is, it's easier to know how to dress up. Another question that you have to ask yourself is, inside or outside do you train at the gym or at the park weather is also a fact to consider you know i live in switzerland and it's winter and it's all covered in snow um, i'm surely not gonna train with a t-shirt outside depending on the sport you are doing you might need equipment for that sport ski or snowboard why not doing it with shorts it's a great idea no for example powerlifting you have specific shoes for that sport and shoes in general are not talked enough in sports and every sport has its own equipment. Let's take this man as an example. I'm not talking about the exercise because he's clearly doing it wrong, but look how he is dressed up like. Now let me give you some examples of how to dress up for some sports. I train calisthenics and calisthenics you train with your own body weight and we all know it's a difficult sport because you cannot remove weight from you like you do on a bar at the gym. Oh yeah, let me just take a leg off uh, to reduce my weight. No, it just doesn't work like that. The best way by reducing weight is to remove clothes. Um, if you train at home, you can even train with underpants or underwear um, for calisthenics. But if you're at the gym, you cannot just walk around uh, with underpants. So what you do is you can remove your shoes. But if you only uh, train with weights, gyms are normally not um, too hot inside. So what you can use is just a t-shirt, uh, shorts or long pants and then some uh, running shoes. And if you're a woman, a sports bra with leggings and running shoes, uh, that's okay. You are there to work out uh, not to show off like, oh, I have Gucci clothes. You can even use old clothes instead of throwing them away. The most important is that they are comfortable. We train outside and we all know that weather can make an impact. I don't know about you guys, but when it's too cold, my body just doesn't work. Um, I'm too focused um, on the cold than the actual sport or task I'm doing. My suggestion is thermal clothes. Um, autumn, winter and spring uh, is the best option you can choose for summer and uh, not because too hot your performance will be poor and you can uh, feel bad or worse pass out for example football it doesn't matter where you play um defender goalkeeper striker and um, you see professionals play with thermal clothes all the time because you are running and then you stop right and then you just walk because you're tired or the other team has the ball and what happens your temperate body temperature will um, sink and with thermal clothes they will keep high so the thermal clothes are like a warm-up um, blood flow and it will increase in performance for me having thermal clothes especially for the upper body it's a must when you're training outside we all know that the chest area is weak when we are sweating and the wind comes and with thermal clothes um, it will keep you warm and it will lower the risk of getting ill in conclusion what uh, clothes should i use a the most comfortable be adequate to your sport and see clothes that don't make you feel too warm or too cold. Like I said, if you train outside, uh, train with a thermal shirt and a t-shirt on top. And when it, if it's too hot, you can always take the t-shirt off and train with the thermal shirt. And indoors, uh, just train with the t-shirt and um, shorts or just um, long pants and warm and sports bra um, with leggings. And please choose the right. Uh, shoes for your sport okay Clem I hope I'm um, pronouncing it correctly and you don't get uh, offended if I mention you I hope that your uh, question got answered if not you can always write me in the comments uh, like I said I'm here to help and to everyone who's watching um, if you have any other suggestion or any question you can always write me on the uh, comments okay and I hope you like this video if you did make sure to like subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos and i see you next time thank you and see you